Hey there guys, it's me Noah, and welcome back to my channel, Travel Geek. In today's video, we're going to have a look at the Costa Smeralda cruise ship. But before we begin, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing information on travel. Let's now have a look at this magnificent cruise ship and see what it has to offer. The Costa Smeralda, which is Italian for Emerald Coast, is clearly a ship where uniqueness is its main source of pride. From the power source of this beauty, it is truly a work of art. It uses liquid natural gas, which is without a doubt the future for cruise ships. It is one of the cleanest burning fossil fuels that is available. So, right from the power source, this is one of the unique ships. But what kind of luxury does this cruise have to offer? We would run out of words to say if we were to describe the interior comfort and hospitality. Taste, comfort, style, and warmth are just some of the words used to describe the cabin designs found on Costa Smeralda. And if you have a look at the images, they are simply breathtaking. I mean, who would not want to go aboard this wonderful ship? What's even more fascinating is that each deck on the ship is named after a famous Italian city. The cabins on the deck also go a long way towards reflecting the individual style and theme of the region. To add to the Italian experience, the whole decor, including the furniture, lights, fabrics, and accessories, come from Italian providers. Right now, some of the cruisers can even enjoy some privacy on their own balconies. If you thought the rooms were something, wait until you see the Colosseo. The Colosseo is the heart and soul of the ship, and it is where all the fun is. It is right in the center of the ship, and it spans three levels. It has lounges and bars that come with large walls made of glass. This gives you an amazing view as you enjoy your meal or drink. The walls are also equipped with screens and a domed ceiling, which provides you with some insight into each port of call. There is a Costa Design Museum, which is known as Code. The museum is full of Italian designs from over the years. It also highlights some of the influence that some of the designers had when they were building this ship. Before you book your next trip or vacation, don't you think it's a good idea to compare prices? Check out the links in the description to compare all-inclusive packages, hotels, cruises, flights, rental cars, and even where to go to get the best deal on travel insurance. Eating well is also a part of a fantastic cruise vacation. With 11 restaurants aboard the Costa Smeralda, you can enjoy amazing cuisine from around the world. This includes traditional Italian and choices like Topanyaki, which is a Japanese-themed hibachi restaurant. You can enjoy an evening at Laboratory del Gusto, where you can learn some of the skills and techniques that Costa's master chefs use to create some of the meals that are found on board. If you want to satisfy your sweet tooth at any time of the day, the Nutella Cafe has exactly what you need. What is the whole point of a cruise ship if you cannot relax? You can pamper yourself at the beauty salon, Haman Turkish bath, thalassotherapy, snow and salt rooms, and so much more all at the spa that is on the ship. If you're looking for a nice swim, you can enjoy one of the four pools that cater to both children and adults. You can also break a sweat at either the gym or the multi-sport pitch before heading over for some wonderful Italian cuisine. The Costa Smeralda will take you through the Western Mediterranean, stopping at some of the iconic ports such as Barcelona, Marseille, Savona, La Spezia, and so much more. So what are you waiting for? Make sure you check out this Italian masterpiece. Believe me, you will not be disappointed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Travel Geek, and hit the bell icon for more travel-related content. We'll definitely see you guys on the next one. Ciao.